Okay, so now that you've got your creature complete, your little appendages are gonna be drying a lot faster than like the body of your creature. So just be aware of them, be careful as you're cutting the hole. And I like to start with my pin tool and just kind of create my guide for my hole and you can make it any shape that you want. I'm gonna make mine squarish, okay. So then once you have the kind of your route, then a wet knife, and if you have a sharper knife at home, have at it, but I know I sent you home with your fork knife tools, so I know you've got that. And then you're just going to wet it, make sure it's clean, and then just like you're carving a pumpkin. So you wanna go down and up, make sure you're cutting all the way through and do that on all your sides. Okay, and then kind of pop it out carefully. And it's gonna be fairly thick, which is good. All right. Oh, I forgot to do that side. Don't be me. Okay. All right, so in there, you're probably going to see your seam, and you can see mine. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in there. It's right down there at the bottom. And the best you can, smooth that out. If you can't reach it with your hand, you've got some tools, um, but we wanna sponge that out and then make this craft your, craft your edge so that it doesn't look so kind of torn up and raw. Um, and then when you're done, we're gonna again just do a light bag over the top and let it sit for a day and then go ahead and open it up and let it sit till we're back in sesh or at least until I can come pick them up and we can fire them. I would love to see your creations, so please send them and I'm gonna go ahead and clean mine up and I'll do the little time lapse so that you can see what I'm up to. All right, have a good day, bye-bye.